Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be continuing with my biostatistics series on the topic chi-square. I'll be taking some question and answer on chi-square, all right? If you know you are not subscribed to this channel, please kindly press the subscribe button and put on the notification so that you get notified whenever I um, upload a new video. So, chi-square, as we know, is a kind of test that is actually used to Test, to, um, test categories if they are actually obeying a particular word pattern or if the association between this category is actually significant or not. All right, we'll be taking a, a general overview of some few questions to see if this observed pattern is actually obeying a set of rules or if it's significantly different from what is actually expected. All right, so let's just take a, a look at this. In 100 toys of a coin, 70 heads and 30 uh, tails were observed. Test the hypothesis that the coin is fair. You know that if you toss a coin, it's you either get a head or a tail. So probability of getting a head is 50 and probability of getting a tail is 50, or one over two, or one over two. So in this case, who, fair coin toys is one ratio one. Probability is actually so. Probability of having a head will now be, remember if you add these two together, it's two. So probability of having a head is either one all over the two, which is this ratio of the head all over the total. And probability of having a tail is also one all over two, which is also the probability of having a tail all over the total. This one, you can also put it as 50%. You can also put it as 50%. All right? So depending on how you want to carry out your calculation. All right, so let's just quickly take a look at this. So let's take a look at our observed data. Remember, before we do that, what is the formula for chi-square? Chi-square is observed minus expected. Put your brackets, square, all over expected. All right? Once you know that, so let's see if we can get the observed value first. Observed value is always given in the question. So... 70 head we are observed and 30 T we are observed. So in observed data, 70, let's use this one as a head and this as a T. All right, so observed value, 70 is head and 30 is T. Now, expected value, expected value is 53% chance, which means that half is supposed to, supposed to be head, half is supposed to be what? The T. So in this case, look at it, 100 coin, um, uh, coin is, uh, uh, the coin is twice 100 what, times. So 50 is expected to be head, which is half, and 50 is expected to be what, T. So expected value for head, 50, and for T, 50. Once you have done that, I've just put it into your chi-square formula. What is our chi-square formula? Observed, which is 70, minus expected, which is 50. Put it in bracket, square, all over expected, which is 50. Plus, now the next one is also for the T, observed is 30 minus expected, which is 50, in brackets, square, all over what? 50, which is expected. Once you have done that, if you subtract this from this, you have 20 square. Subtract uh, 50 from this, you have minus 20 square, all right? As usual, over 50, which is there, and over 50. Square this, you have 400. You square this, you have 100. You remember, if you square negative value, you have positive. So, 100. If you use to divide this, you have 8. If you use to divide this, you have 8. All right. And if you add together, you have 16. Take note, in this case, the tabular value, they, they set the chi square value at 0 0.05, which is the confidence level, is 3.84. All right, so, but our calculated value is 16, while the value that we check from the table is 3.84. Remember, you can always check your chi-square table. To, uh, it's very easy. And to even get your degree of freedom, which is DF in chi-square, you just use the formula R minus 1 bracket C minus 1. This is rule, this is column. Remember, before you form your chi-square, you are supposed to actually form a contingency table. So, you are supposed to have rules and columns. So this is the value. But in this question, already, since I don't have the table at hand, I already put the value on the board. All right? So since our 
calculated value is 16 and our tabulated the value that we check from chi square table is or critical value is 3.84 we can now say that the calculated value is actually greater than the tabulated value and if the calculated value is greater than the tabulated value you reject the non-hypothesis or the non-hypothesis is not accepted what does it mean it simply implies that what is the implication of this the implication is that the value that you got that you observed 70 hertz and 30 t is significantly different from the expected value which is one ratio one or 50 ratio 50. and please at the end before you always start calculation in chi square you must always form your non-hypotensis and alternate hypotensis in this case what will be our non-hypotensis our non-hypotensis will see be simple non-hypotensis will be the value observed is not different from the expected value is actually at the ratio of what one ratio of one which is not different from why our alternate hypothesis will say that the value the, the observed value is significantly or statistically what different from what the expected ratio of one ratio of one so in this case we can now conclude from our calculation that the observed value is significantly that's the implication of what you have done that the observed value is significantly uh, different from the ratio of one ratio one which is actually expected let's quickly take a look at the next question which is let's assume the ratio of male to female in nigeria is one ratio three so for every male for every one male we have two females and you counted you now went to a state a state you counted the number of people in Edo state in nigeria and got 2,600 uh, 2, male and 11,000 female. Test the hypothesis that the ratio you got in Edo state is not different from one ratio three of Nigeria. Remember, Edo state is in Nigeria, so the whole of Nigeria as a, as a country, you have one ratio three, test of male to female. So, and you sampled in the state, and what you got, you are going to test. Remember, at the beginning, you also form your hypothesis. It's a very, chi square is a very simple process. You just form your hypothesis. And what will be your hypothesis? The, the non hypothesis will definitely be the fact that the observed value is not different from the expected ratio of one ratio of three. Why the alternate hypothesis will always be the observed value differs significantly from the expected ratio of one ratio three. So let's now test this hypothesis. All right. Our ratio is one ratio two. We can say one ratio three. One ratio three. So and the total is four. All right. So we can now quickly uh, look for the observed. Now please take note. For the male, the observed is 2,600. For the female, the observed is 11,000. Let's take a look at the expected. To get the expected in this case, the first thing that you need to do is simple. Add the two values together. All right, you add them together and you have the total. After, do, after doing that, you now look for the ratio of individual. Remember the first question we did, we know that the ratio is one ratio, what? One. But in this case, the ratio is one ratio three. What is the total? This is four. So we cannot say for this, for the male, it's one all over four. The ratio for male is one all over four. Male is one. The total is four. Just the way you have the coin case, you have the total is two. One ratio one for coin, which is total two. For, for the head, you have one, which is for the head, all over two. Why? For the tail, is another one all over what? Two. So in this case, the total here is four. For the male, the male ratio is one, and the total is four. So it's one all over four. If you use one to divide four, you have 0 0.25. For the female, the ratio is three, and the total is four, which is three all over four. All right? So if you use three, uh, four to divide three, you have 0 0.75. All right? You have 0 0.75. 
Now, once you have done this, once you have done this, you have the ratio for the male, you have the ratio for the female, all right? Just use this ratio to multiply the total value. So I use 0 0.25 to multiply the total here. I have this value here. I use 0 0.75 to multiply the total here. I'll have 10,200. I believe this is a simple process. All right, once you have gotten that, apply your cast square formula, observed minus expected square all over what expected. Now, once you have done that, what is the value for observed here? 2,600 expected, you have 2,400. So 2,600 minus 2,400, then you square it all over expected, right? Which is 2,400. Then plus, you add, all right? What is the observed for female? 11,000. Then what is expected for female? It is actually, you see the value here, 10,200. So minus 10,200, then you square all over expected, which is 10,200. Once you have done that, you subtract this from this and square it. So if, I believe if you subtract this from this, you have minus 800. So if you square minus 800, you have this value here. All right? Now take note, in exam condition, don't jump steps. Follow the steps, but I am always jumping steps because I want the video to be short. All right? So you square it, you have this all over expected. The expected is down. Now, if you subtract this from this, you have 800. Square 800, you have 640000 all over 10,200. All right, so use this to divide this, you have this. Use this to divide this, you have this. So if you add these two together, you have this. Now, once you have done this, you can now check. You can now check your table. You can easily check your table table to compare the calculated value with the tabulated value. However, from the value I, hear, I have here, 200, I already know that my calculated value will be more than my calculated But you can check and send me your answer in your mail. All right? So I already know, since my calculated is actually higher than my tabulated, what will I do? I also reject the non-hypothesis and state that the observed value is significantly different from what the expected ratio that of Nigeria. So that is the simple way. Various chi square can be solved. It, an assignment is being displayed on the board. Just attempt it and send me your answer. Always send your answer to biologyaccess at gmail.com. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.